You should do a background check and a deep social media dive on a man before you date him and take him serious. I agree 100%. Now, I'm not super familiar with the websites that she has, but there are a certain number of websites that I think are really important as you are navigating and keeping yourself safe while you are dating. Now, some women will do this before they actually go out on a physical date on the first date, or some women will do this around the third date based on your comfort and your, your level of security that you feel is important for you. So number one, um, you probably want to have a Google voice number when you are texting or calling at the very beginning, just for security reasons, because we don't want somebody to get a number and try to blow it up and have complete access to you. That's number one. And then there are certain things that I like to look up, certain places I like to go when my clients come to me as a dating coach and say, oh, I'm gonna be going out with this guy. I'm like, okay, give me his name, his location, his age, and we go, here we go, right? So the County of Clerks is one place where you get to get an understanding of what this dude is doing, where, where he is in the system, if anything. Obviously, the sexual offender list, that is also something that is really important to check into, and then the Department of Corrections in your city, town, or county, right? If you go, if you go through all th three of those, you, and these things don't cost any money. If you go through all three of those, you're gonna be in good shape and you're gonna know who you're d messing with, who you're dealing with. Um, let me know if you've heard of these, if you do this while you're dating. I wanna keep you all safe out here as we navigate these dating streets that can oftentimes feel like a jungle. Hope this helps.